In this video, we will discuss how to solve exponential equations by hand. Um, you also can solve them using your graph on your calculator, um, but I will not discuss that method in this video. So, to solve exponential equations, remember that the inverse to an exponential equation is a logarithm. So, just starting with a very basic example here, here we have an exponent with base 6, so the inverse to an exponential equation of base 6 will be a logarithm of base 6. So what we want to do to solve this is take the log base 6 of each side of the equation. And what happens here is because they have the same base, these uh, cancel out the logarithm base 6 and the base 6 of the exponent. So all we're left with on the left side of the equation is x, and on the right side of the equation we get log base 6 of 3589. And remember, the change of base theorem allows us to evaluate that by taking the log of what's inside of the logarithm divided by the log of the base. And in this case today, we will just round to three decimal places for all of these examples. And so the solution here would be x equals 4.568. Let's look at a slightly more difficult example here. So in this example, um, you'll notice we still have an exponential equation, but this time it doesn't start out isolated. So your first step to solving exponential equations is that you want to isolate the exponent. Here, I would first add 14 to each side of the equation. And then what you need to make sure of is you can't multiply that 4 and 2 together because the 4 is not raised to the exponent. So next, we'll divide each side of the equation by 4. And we have the expression 2 to the x plus 3 is equal to 4.2. Now that the exponent is isolated, now we can solve by taking the log of each side. Because the base of the exponent is 2, we'll do the log base 2 of each side of the equation. And on the left, the log base 2 and the 2 of the exponential cancel out. So we just are left here with x plus 3. And then on the right, log base 2 of 4.2, we can evaluate using our change of base theorem. So we end up with x plus 3 is equal to 2.07. And the final step is just to solve like we would normally solve for x. So if we subtract 3, from each side of the equation, our final answer would be x is equal to negative 0.93. The final example here that we have to do a little bit differently than the others is this expression. 7 to the x equals 4 to the 2x minus 1. So here we can't just take the log base 7 or log base 4 of each side because uh, um, they have different bases. So instead, you can choose any base that you want to um, and just take the log of each side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do the natural log because I know I have something on my calculator that will do that for me. And what I'm going to use here is the power property. So recall that the power property makes it so that the exponents to an expression can drop down in front of the logarithm. So here it doesn't matter that these are different numbers inside of the logarithm, but what we can do is drop the exponent in front so that we then have multiplication. So on the left it becomes x times the natural log of 7, and on the right it becomes 2 minus x times the natural log of 4. 
And don't let those natural logs confuse you because the natural log of 7 and the natural log of 4 are just numbers. So I'm going to just type it in here or write it in as a number just to help you see it a little bit better. The rounding might cause it to be off a little bit, but natural log of 7 is about 1.946 and the natural log of 4 I'm going to put it in front here, is about 1.386. So this now is just a standard linear equation to solve. We can distribute the 1.386 on the right, and then we'll be able to solve for x. So what I would do next to solve here is just subtract to move all of the x's to one side of the equation. And I end up with negative 0.826x equals negative 1.386. And so the final step will be to divide. My final answer in this case is 1.68 is about what it rounds to.